Hello, my crafty friends, specifically my stampy, scrappy friends. Scrappy friends is who I'm reaching out to today. I'm going to jump on here for just a minute to show you the new pumpkin spice scrapbooking kit that I will be putting together with whoever wants to join me online virtually on November 9th, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And you know what? I'll be back in just a moment. I thought I had everything ready to go and I just realized I left something on the printer. Okay, so anyway, this is the pumpkin spice kit and I'm going to show you all the things that are part of this kit. Um, this is what you'll get when you order the kit if you want to join me. First off, it comes with complete color instructions and I don't know how well you can see these through the video, but these are the three layouts, two page layouts, so six pages all together, that the kit provides instructions and materials for. You can also see these when you go to the um, website to purchase the kit. These little s snapshots are part of the listing, so if you click on them in the listing, you can see them probably better than I can show you in the instructions here. And the instructions are very, very nice. They give you all the information you need for cutting papers that are included. And there's not a lot of paper cutting involved with this, and what there is is very easy to do. And then for each layout, there is a page showing the layout with the dimensions and the areas that um, like how far in, how many inches in, things go, and things like that, and step-by-step -step um, written instructions. So it's a very fun and easy kit to put together, and the instructions just make it super-duper easy. In the kit, you'll get, I'm going to take this out just to make sure that there's reduced amount of reflection on it. I'm sorry, this is wood stickers and apparently the back of it is a little bit sticky which is good because when we put them in our scrapbooks we want them to stay right but right now they want to stay in my plastic bag so this is real wood it's not just something to look like wood and it's been put onto a heavy um, sticky background that will hold the wood together because the wood is so thin if it didn't have that sticky background it would just crumble away but there are beautiful beautiful stickers here you've got pumpkins and gourds and leaves hearts and acorns just all the perfect embellishments for a fall or autumn layout and of course you're going to get your photo placement mats you may or may not find necessary, but they do also, if you cut your photos down just a little bit smaller, they provide a really pretty white mat for each photo, although they're probably designed to be taken off the page when the photos go on. The pumpkin spice sticker sheet is also included in this pack, and the instructions will tell you everywhere that you need to use these stickers. Um, let me see on here. Okay, I have a point that I wanted to make later, and I was just trying to see if it um, is necessary to make the point on this as well. You, cut, you also will receive full paper pack of the pumpkin spice paper, and this paper is so pretty, so pretty. So you'll get two sheets of each page. Here we have two sheets of the trees, which is one of my favorite sheets right now. In the back of these is the sweater weather type paper with sweaters and books, teapots, and scarves and boots, all the sorts of things that come out of your closets and out from under the bed when fall approaches and makes us feel all snugly and warm during this time of year. The next two sheets are a polka dot sheet and your zip strip on here is acorns. The back of this one is a papaya colored stripe and also very pretty and you'll find them really useful in this kit. You'll love them. 
and another one of my favorite sheets again because I always have more than one favorite this plaid is simply gorgeous in my opinion I love it so much and the back side of this one is also one of my favorite papers which is pumpkins and gourds and leaves and acorns everything that we saw on the wood sheet again with that really pretty harbor color background so you'll get six sheets of our patterned paper just like those and then you get pages of die cuts as well so with your die cuts you'll get this first sheet and these are not something that you're going to look at and go oh my gosh what shall I do with those this is all designed to work with the instructions that come with the kit so that you make the exact layouts that they provide the photos for or if you have ideas to do something different with any of these pieces it's your kit now you can use these any way you want to but don't be afraid because you won't go without ideas next piece of ooh, these are all falling out the next sheet of die cuts looks like this there's a pumpkin that these will cut out of or pop out of you don't have to cut these are all pre-cut they just pop right out of the paper these will have spaces for photos in it I believe if I recall that layout correctly there's a pumpkin stem leaves flowers more pumpkins all kinds of fun goodies on that one one thing I would like to point out on these the next sheet has pumpkins like a base pumpkin and then some lines to give it some enhancement some 3d aspect but each sheet tells you which project each die cut goes on for example this one you have a line here which I consider a cut line and everything on this side of the line goes for project number three or the two page number three layout everything on this side is designed to go on project number two so we've made it as easy as possible to sort out your pieces find what you need for each part of the puzzle now here was one thing that I did want to mention in the kit you have the uh, European spelling for words and the Americanized spelling for words so you don't have to use something that isn't right for your own um, country or culture so you have favorite and favorite you have color and color spelled both ways so you use the one that is appropriate for you we didn't want to make anybody feel left out or that their own spelling for their country was not appropriate because it's all appropriate I love all these leaves and and fall pieces on this one and I, I recall correctly these are going to make a wonderful cluster on the uh, first layout exclusive to this kit also are these two base pages for your layout and I love the thought that went into this because these pages aren't exactly the same they don't start with yellow on the left and end up with the tan brownish color on the right one starts with yellow on the left and goes to the brown the next one is the flip reverse of that and starts with the brown and goes to the yellow so you have a beautiful flow across these two pages when you use them together I love the thought that went into that and then we have some cardstock we have two pieces of the harbor cardstock and as you can see our cardstock is made with one shade and a second one step lighter shade on the back we have excuse me um, shortbread one sheet if I can get it there we go one sheet of shortbread it's also lighter on the back this color is called mink goes beautifully with that plaid that I showed you earlier and then two sheets of our white daisy cardstock and that should be everything you need to put these pages together just like they're shown in our catalog or in the kit instructions again you have the option of making it your own and I'm sorry I'm stuck over here making it your own and moving things around or adjusting them however you like to 
If you want to join me in this class, all you need to do is go to my website, betsy.closetomyheart.com, and purchase the Pumpkin Spice Scrapbooking Workshop. There's two versions available. G1237 comes with the page protectors, but if you have a plethora of page protectors like I do, you can purchase the same kit with NP for no protectors on the back of that. So you can get it either way. I hope you love this kit as much as I do and will join me on November 9th to put it together, 7 p.m. right here in the paper craft room. See you then. Bye everyone.